Good morning friends, we are going to our biggest adventure so far. Today we are hiking to the second highest active volcano in Indonesia, Mount, Mount Rinjani. Rinjani. We are doing a proper expedition. We are gonna spend three whole days in the volcano area, camping two nights in the volcano itself. We have a whole super team for us. We have a guide, we have two porters that are carrying all the stuff we need. Food, drinks, all the camping supplies. They are going to cook all the meals for us on these three days. Without these guys, I don't think we'll be able to get to the top of that amazing mountain. The previous night we even got our blood pressure checked, hinting that this hike is really a no joke. 110. Okay, okay. Healthy. I'm getting healthy and healthier. Medical history? No history. <laughs> in the morning, no rice was left uneaten, knowing that in the next 24 hours there are 2,800 vertical meters ahead of us. Every source of energy was welcome. And so the eight hour long first day begins. We found the water spring. I don't know where is this is coming from, but... The funny thing is that they said that this water is drinkable and it's fresh, but it smells like in toilet here. So we're not sure if our stomach is gonna handle this well, but as they said in Lombok, never try, never know. Maybe we'll regret this in uh, two hours or tomorrow but morning. We need to stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, it's really hot here. After walking for two hours, we already made it to the position two. What's cool on this track when you start from Sembalon village is that there are so many like stops on the go. Like every hour, there's some kind of rest stop that's like a checkpoint. And this one looks like a proper village. There are so many people, so many porters. And there you can even buy some snacks if you don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> you can really buy everything here. Pineapples, watermelon, there's even a bakso stall, there's so many snacks and chips. But remember, as you go higher, you will pay more. It's amazing seeing how the landscape changes throughout the whole hike. We started on these grassy fields. A minute ago we walked over this huge cliff that collapsed in 2018 when Lombok was struck with a huge earthquake. But we are already at the position 3 and we caught up with our porters. And they are cooking something amazing for our lunch. And we cannot wait to eat it. It looks just amazing. Did you expect this? I was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> we were hoping for this, but we are not expecting lunch to look this good. I have a surprise for you. It's a really big surprise, but she, she's not expecting this. Did you buy me Silver Queen Chunky? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The favorite chocolate. <laughs> they surprised us with these amazing chairs and I couldn't be more happy with it. Like this is a service we haven't even dreamt of. So if you're hiking on Rinjani, look for AM Adventures. Recommend it. But let's devour this lunch because it's our just second meal of the day. How do you put it on? Like that? Jesus. <laughs> Big shout out to our porters because <coughs> this is quite heavy. I don't really know how they do it up the range and in flip flops with this 35 kilos on their shoulder. Heroes. Yeah, thank you for carrying it for us. Really, thank you so much. Only steep uphill from position three, but we made it to position four. Position four. <laughs> For me, the only difficult part was now from position three to position four. It was really steep. Currently, we are at 2,100 meters about a sea level, and they still have a shops here. So the price hasn't changed since leaving position two. Is like 20,000 for a sprite. And keep in mind that they have to brought it here on their backs in the bamboo baskets. Let's say we should support the locals for doing this for us. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many cookies we have. Oh, which one are the best? Like, which one do I you like the most? Bang, bang, it's very good. Bang, bang. <laughs> it's fun short. The steepest part begins here. 500 vertical meters on 1.3 kilometer. Let's finish today strong. Woo! It's 
still there. It's the summit. Yeah, waiting for us. Difficult, but nothing we cannot make. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Where is our house? Your hotel. Our <laughs> hotel. <laughs> five stars. I think there's gonna be like a million stars. Not only five, once the clouds clear up. What are you doing there, honey? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this luxury tent. We have like a really thick mattress to sleep on and even a pillow. <laughs> yeah, and the sleeping bag is amazing. Actually, it is until minus 10 degrees. We will not freeze tonight. Maybe on the summit in the morning, but definitely not tonight. But there's still a sunset and dinner before that. But let me show you the toilet here. Respect my privacy, please. Okay. Waterfall! Waterfall in Jani! Oh, I can see the summit. Wow! Dinner. Wow, that's amazing, that's curry! It's getting really cold here, the hot curry is really appreciated. Bon appetit and let's hope a sense is gonna be just as epic as this dinner. <laughs> I still don't understand how they cook a meal like this in these kind of conditions. Nope. No, they are our heroes. <laughs> Unfortunately, the skies didn't clear up for our sunset. But the skies cleared just one hour later when it was completely dark and we've seen so many stars. Probably the most stars that we've seen in our lives. But in order to see a sunrise on the summit, we are waking up at 1.40 in the morning. So it's gonna be a pretty short night for us. We will see you in a minute. Exactly in a minute. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Mm. Good morning with a healthy breakfast of champions. <laughs> we need chocolate as the first thing as we woke up because the sleep was, let's say, not great. <laughs> this is the moment we are waiting for. This is the moment that we oh, are waiting this for. This is the moment that we are waiting for. Wow, thank I'm you so much. You know. It's 2.23 in the morning. Let's go for the summit. Let's do this. Good luck. And finally we made it to Mount Rinjani, 3726 meters and we have these amazing views. We are here. Yeah, we are here, better than rain. We're finally down and that was one of a tough climb. The first part starts at 2600 meters above sea level and it's actually not that difficult. The path is mainly loose rocks and it's not that exhausting. The second part is when you reach the crater rim at 3000 meters above sea level and it starts pretty flat until it builds up into a steep parts. But at the end of the second part, that's where the travel begins for us. This is the steepest part of the summit climb. It has like 45 degrees, but that's not the problem. What's the problem are the loose rocks and sand that you have to walk all the way to the summit. Every two steps you make puts you one step backward because you're just sliding backwards all the time. If that wasn't hard enough, 
we walked into a cloud with like a very very strong wind and a very humid cloud so we were basically wet in a few seconds we were freezing we were cold we couldn't see anything but in the end we fought with all of our powers and somehow made it to the top it was really difficult the views mm. Mm. we have to come back again probably Luckily, the weather cleared on our way down and we could enjoy the beautiful views of the Rinjani caldera and the surrounding area for at least few seconds before the clouds rolled in again. Next time we hopefully can see it from summit itself. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> we ate our incredibly deserved breakfast and decided to skip the second crater rim, the Senado Run, and rather take a Torian road because the weather forecast is not looking that great. It's supposed to even rain a lot. So we just rather go down to the lake, rest a little and enjoy a lot of time in a hot, hot springs. springs. <laughs> so let's go there now. Going down these rocks is actually more difficult than going down Rinjani. The rocks are really big, so we have to be really careful and have to yeah, really think of every step you make. While in Rinjani, that was actually fun, sliding down the sand. This part that's right here, that's not our favorite part, right honey? Finally, we have some views and it looks almost like in Switzerland. Just look at these mountains. You know what these chairs mean? We are having a lunch. Bon appetit! But we are at a very special place. Look at this view. This is Lake Segara Anak, a volcanic lake that's home to Barujari, the active volcanic cone that lastly erupted in 2016. Locals spent a lot of time in this beautiful area, usually fishing for several days before returning home to their villages. But we are not staying at this beautiful caldera lake. We are going to a place that's a bit more private. I will show you in a second. <laughs> As you can see, it rained a little, but that is our campsite. And you see this, that's our private hot spring. Jacuzzi. We have a private spa after hiking like 3000 vertical meters and not showering once. That is more than welcome. After Rinjani, we cannot imagine anything better than this. This is a sulfur hot spring that has 38 degrees Celsius, which is, I think, the ideal temperature for a hot spring. We have even a jacuzzi here. And just for ourselves. I cannot comprehend what just happened today. Like Rinjani, the lake, hot spring. Even with the not so great weather, it's a really successful day today. Really nice experience. Good morning from our last day. Yesterday I fell asleep in 7 and woke up at 6. We slept for 11 hours. But today is another big day of walking. We are supposed to walk 9 kilometers, which is gonna take 8 hours. I think that's too much, but when they say it, I think they really mean it. So what we are gonna see, I don't know, but I will take you there too. That's the road we are taking through this Torian Valley. Choosing the Torian Road was the right decision. This valley is just as epic as it can get, with beautiful waterfalls and towering slopes.
This has to be the most beautiful part of our hike. Just look at these huge green slopes of a volcano all around us. Four hours into the hike, you will see the biggest waterfall of the whole valley, Panimbungan. Was that right? Panimbungan waterfall! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> After tasty migoreng, there wasn't much to see. Jungle, more jungle, trees, and even more trees. It took us two muddy hours to leave the jungle and enter the final stretch. Fruit gardens. We had zero energy left when finally Congratulations, my bro. Oh, we made you. it. Made it. Woo. We made it back to the car. Oh, yes. So finally, after eight hours of walking and 13 kilometers in our legs instead of nine, as was said before, we finally made it to Torian Village. This is where our epic adventure ends. I hope we show you what to expect of this trek if you chose the Torian road. But that's all for this video, my friends. See you somewhere else. Goodbye. Thank you.